Switzerland was one of the first countries to officially recognize India after its independence in 1947 and establish diplomatic relations. Ever since then, Switzerland and India have been cooperating in political, economic and financial affairs, legal matters, science, education, culture and development cooperation. Next to the main embassy building in New Delhi, a new construction has been done. The embassy is in the process of centralizing uh, its visa operations for all over India in New Delhi. In order to give good service to Indian citizens and to handle over 110,000 uh, visas annually, we had to find additional office space for this section. We found it in the former building of uh, the International Cooperation section, which will in turn become the new visa center. In turn, we had to find space for the International Cooperation section, which we found in a new temporary building that has been just completed some months ago. We wanted the new building to be a state-of-the-art green building, having a lot of Swiss innovative technologies that reduce energy consumption and pollution. This fits very well into our international cooperation with India, where energy-efficient buildings are a main component of our cooperation. This also fits perfectly well into the year of Swiss innovation in India 2015-16. This program aims at bringing together researchers, institutes, uh, officials, enterprises in order to exchange best uh, experiences and practices and in order to initiate new cooperation between the two countries. We want to showcase that Switzerland as an innovative country can be highly relevant for India and that there, there is a huge scope for cooperation between our two countries. Seeing the new building, one should immediately realize, think innovation, think Switzerland. The Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation has been supporting and implementing development cooperation projects in India for more than five decades. Since 2011, SDC's program in India focuses primarily on issues related to climate change. Why were energy efficiency considerations and a low carbon cement integrated into the new building design? SDC has been contributing to improving energy efficiency in several key sectors uh, in India. Uh, currently, we have a particular focus on the building sector. There are two main projects that we are supporting in this area. One is supporting energy efficiency measures in new buildings. Amongst other things, it provides state-of-the-art technical expertise for minimizing the use of energy consumption in new buildings. The, the second project is supporting research uh, on a new climate-friendly cement type. This new cement type has the potential of reducing greenhouse gas emissions in the range of 30% compared to standard cement products on the market. In the construction of our new building, it was important for us to lead by example. Therefore, we wanted to include energy efficiency measures and we also wanted to use the new low-carbon cement type in our new building. How were these requirements taken into account in the design? My Swiss colleague George Hammond and I have tried to create an architecture which reflects not only the architecture of the compound of the Swiss Embassy, but also represents thematically the work that the clients do. At the same time, uh, we had to be mindful of the fact that the building is a temporary solution only. So we've come up with a structure which is supported on steel pillars. Thereby we've been able to use the low carbon cement uh, for this building. 
uh, even though the cement is still in testing phase and uh, currently being tested scientifically. We've also tried to incorporate some other environmentally uh, green solutions for this building. Some of them are the higher insulation on the roof, double glazing uh, on all the windows and we've also used some blinds on the exterior of these windows to give it a better shading. All these are sort of incorporated to keep in mind that this building should have a better performance in terms of energy consumption for the future. What is innovative about the new cement type and how was it used in the building? This technology of LC3, that is limestone calcine clay cement, is in a way a very innovative technology because it utilizes the synergy that exists between calcine clay, which is an abundantly available material, and crushed limestone, which we mix into the cement. Now, this calcine clay that we are using is a low-grade material. It is not a material that we would be using otherwise. In fact, it's available as a waste material, which is not being utilized uh, for production at the moment in many mines. The limestone also that we are using is available as a waste material at the moment and by using this we can bring down the clinker content of the cement uh, down to 50% from the current level of somewhere around uh, 65 to 70%. So that gives it an added advantage. Uh, the excellent thing about this cement is that after you've produced this cement you can use it in the same way as we have been using ordinary Portland cement. Its performance is the same as we get uh, from ordinary Portland cement. Now by doing that we create a solution that is commercially viable and at the same time good for the environment. Here in this building we have utilized autoclaved aerated concrete blocks that have been produced using this cement. What we have done is we have replaced regular ordinary Portland cement that would have gone in these blocks with uh, LC3, limestone calcine clay cement. We have produced these, these blocks in partnership with JK Lakshmi cement. They have a plant close to Delhi where they have a fully automated production of these kind of blocks. And what we were able to do was replace ordinary Portland cement with uh, limestone calcine clay cement. What is the significance of the energy efficiency features that were incorporated in the new building, in particular the external shading system? Research done under the Indo-Swiss Building Energy Efficiency Project shows that almost 60% of the electricity in an office building is used for air conditioning. Uh, for predominantly hot climate of Delhi, it is important that we block the heat from entering into the building. And that's why this building is provided with external cavity walls, uh, roof insulation and double glazed windows uh, which provide it with efficient envelope. Uh, apart from air conditioning, uh, lighting also uses quite a lot of energy and it is important that we utilize daylight effectively. This building has uh, uh, in each room has access to windows and it is the windows are provided by external movable shading systems. These are put on the outside of the building and move dynamically by which they are able to reduce the heat ingress while allowing the daylight to come inside the spaces. Such systems are used extensively in Europe and BP is trying to popularize this concept in India also. Building is a key pillar of any office or a commercial activity. It is where people spend most of their professional time. Therefore, building design, construction and energy efficiency is a serious business for every new office. This is what has been showcased in this new building.